Picture this. Picture this. If Facebook were a country, it would be the third most populated country in the world, with 1.1 billion people. This is just behind China with 1.3 billion and India with 1.2 billion people. It seems pretty hard to get your mind around the vastness of the second most visited website, doesn't it? Today I'm going to talk about how Facebook has evolved and grown over time and the impact it has on society. I'm looking at my 700 plus Facebook friends. You can say I've been on it for a while and know pretty well how it works. So let me ask you guys, how many of you have Facebook? That doesn't surprise me at all that you all do. Because in the U.S. alone, more than half of our population uses this website. But how much do you really know about the website that we all seem so addicted to? Do you know how it started just nine years ago? I'm going to talk about the history and how Facebook got started and how it's grown into the empire that it is today. I'm also going like to discuss the positive and negative impacts that it has on society. So let's start from the beginning then and how it was created before it became such an integral part of our lives today. Before the pictures, the pokes, and the profiles. As told in David Kirkpatrick's 2010 book titled The Facebook Effect, we know that Facebook was started on February 4, 2004 by Harvard students Mark Zuckerberg and his friends Eduardo, Dustin, and Chris, and it was called The Facebook. It started with only Harvard students and then expanded to include other Ivy League colleges, including Yale, and then to other schools in the area, such as Boston University, and now it spreads from all universities all over the country. They then moved their headquarters to California, and at that time they dropped the the from the Facebook and made it just Facebook.com as we know it today. In 2005, it expanded to allow high schoolers onto the website, and in 2006, anyone over the age of 13 could join. Now, more recently, according to the investor relations page on Facebook, it became an IPO, which is an internal public offering, in 2012, and has recently joined NASDAQ. Personally, since 2008, I've been able to see, see the evolution and growth of it as it added messaging features, video calls, the news feed, timeline, and the poke, the poke and like button. Now, according to Facebook, their mission is to give people the power to share and make the world more open and connected. I say it has definitely done that and created several impacts on society. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the negative and the positive impacts that it has on us, starting with the negative. The first is that Facebook has been an outlet for online harassment and cyberbullying. In the article titled Cyberbullying by Jennifer Holliday, she tells us oh, 37% of students have admitted to making fun of a peer online. However, only 18% of their parents thought that their children were capable of this. Students and children don't understand the psychological effects that they have on others by making fun of people online. They think from being able to hide behind a computer, they can say anything to people that they would not normally say in real life. Now, the second negative effect that Facebook has is that its misusage can lead to consequences for people, including employees. Have you ever heard of someone getting fired because of something they posted on Facebook? Well, believe it or not, it's becoming something that's much more popular. A study by Proofread found that 17% of companies with over 1,000 employees have had issues with social media. And of those companies, 8% of them have fired an employee for something they've commented on Facebook or LinkedIn and other social networking websites. The Salford University Law Review case analysis from 2011 discusses how Don Marie Souza was fired for posting negative comments on Facebook about her employer. She sarcastically wrote, I love how the company allows a psychiatric patient to become a supervisor. However, her employee handbook specifically prohibits making disparaging or discriminatory remarks about the company, the employers, coworkers, and even the competitors. This led to the National Labor Relations Board questioning the employee rights of communication and social media. Now, not everything about Facebook is negative. There are a lot of positive impacts that it has on us as well. The first one is that it allows you to connect with others that you haven't seen in years, such as your childhood friends, or even reconnect with long-lost family members. In a 2009 article by Jamie Hyatt titled Family Found Facebook, it tells us the story of Richard Marks, how he used Facebook to find his biological family after 18 years. After continual unsuccessful success trying to find them, he contacted people on Facebook with the same last name as his birth mother. And he ended up contacting his sister. They exchanged information and found out that they were in fact related and that she had spent 15 years searching for him. He, feel, he says he feels like a completely different person thanks to Facebook. Now, the second positive 
the impact that Facebook has is it allows us to connect with people from all over the world, keeping in touch with friends that might study or live abroad, or to unite people for a cause and to get a common idea across. Linda Hamura in 2011 wrote an article called Facebook Rebels, Youth of the Egyptian Revolution. It talks about the Egyptian Revolution in 2011 and how the Egyptians used Facebook and Twitter as a means of getting out their message and spreading the news of the revolts that were happening in the country. People had posted pictures, videos, and in Facebook pages and groups to spread the news of what was happening and unite the people, telling them their side of the story. This showed the power of social media and the role the internet has as a communication source for political outlets. So who would have thought that Facebook would have such an influence over us? Who would have imagined Facebook to be the best friend saying to tell you the latest news and gossip? Let's review. I wanted to inform you guys on how Facebook has grown and changed in the past nine years, as well as the impacts it has on us as a society. Once again, it was created by Mark Zuckerberg in 2004 while he was at Harvard with some of his friends. Since then, it has grown to have over 1.1 billion users and is currently a part of NASDAQ. Some of the negative impacts are that it's a tool for cyber harassment and this usage can have serious consequences for employees. However, some of the positive impacts are that it, it enables you to reconnect with lost family members, such as Richard, Richard Marx did, and unite people as in the 2011 Egyptian revolts. So hopefully you guys view Facebook a little differently than we did a few minutes ago. And now see why it's more than just a place to post pictures and comment on statuses. Who knows if Facebook could change and grow in the future? But aside from the 1.1 billion users on the website, I hope you've learned about the impact that it 